There is a house in St. Moore's they call the rising sun. We go in the arcade, anybody? No. There's a ferry coming in, or one of them. I go across to Falmouth. It seems odd you drive all the way to St Moore's and then get a ferry to Falmouth, but I suppose it's all part of the experience. There's a that geek club. Blimey, he's got a big shopping trolley. River cruises. Marine services, Zephyr Charters. Can you just get out of the way of the traffic. Sit. St. Moore's Post Office. When I came out one day and I hadn't got an SD card in my camera, yes. so we had to go to the post office and I bought a couple of little ones in there. Kept me going for the day though. It's the only place in town anybody knew of that might sell them. The St. Moore's Hotel and Restaurant also has a cinema at the back, not that you would know about it, but you can stay there, or you can go in as a non-resident and watch the films at the back. I'm not sure how big it is, but it's been there forever. It's very French, isn't it? This place has supposedly been done up last time I looked. Looks like they gave up on it. Didn't they have like a big fan below the windows? Yes. Could see what they, were going to do they did. It's Falmouth over there, isn't it? There do you know. Come on, you know geography. I know what geography is. You know it exists. <laughs> There's that for a cute little shop. It's like somebody's front room. No. A tiny little gallery. That's cute. Fifty pounds. Five hundred pounds and another five hundred pounds. So for a thousand pounds, you could have those two little pictures. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Maybe. Isn't it? Those little houses. Smuggler's Corner and St. Moore's Church. Let's have a look at St. Moore's Church. 
shall we? It looks a bit unusual with a spire. Let's aspire to see a church. A bit pretty. Some people do take pride in their gardens, don't they? Yeah. Oh yes. Oh. Oh, I think that's far enough. Don't think I'd uh, want to be climbing up there for Sunday service. I'm not I'm 95 years old. That's so cute. Pink cottage. In case you haven't realised what colour it is. Some great houses. Oh well, it's probably a bit cold out there, you don't want to get the bums wet. Yeah, pretty isn't it? Seacliff Warren. If you've ever watched the TV programme that's been on for years called the Hotel Inspector, Alex Polizzi, part of the Trust House Forte Group family. This is her mother's hotel in St. Moore's. Supposed to be five star and all that. Very posh. Santon. Hmm. I don't know if that's all part of it or not. Your paws on the wall.
Well, we keep walking along this road, but uh, not much to see. I'll join you at the top. Could be RNAS called Droz training, or they might be on a mission. Who knows? We get here around the corner is St. Moore's Castle. It's the twin sister of Pendennis Castle. Similar but smaller. Pretty town. We can see from here. I'll try and raise it up a bit. Mm. Du, 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 du. Every time I see that lighthouse, I get the theme music going in my head. Yeah, I didn't even use to watch Fraggle Rock. Wow, they got some speedy boats. I want one, I've got nowhere to keep it. I suppose if any of these places come up for sale, they're going to be a couple of million each, aren't they? More. Or more, yeah. I would say five. Well, yes, yeah, the big ones like these, I suppose. Well, the little terraces in, in uh, St. Ives go for a million, so... St. Maud's is a bit more upmarket. Nice if you just want to go in a hotel and look out to the estuary, watch the boats come and go. Look at Politz's place again. Nice patio restaurant though. Sandton Beach Club. Hmm. You can have a posh burger for 14 pounds. That's cheaper than some of the pubs in, in St. Ives and places. Oh, hello crows. How are you doing? Oh, you're not crows, you're jackdaws. You can always tell because they've got a different hood. Oh, nice place to have a burger. The strange thing is, it's still open down there. Well, mm. Sit and chill. Yeah. I wonder how old that is. It's got a thatched roof, so it's probably been around for about 300 years or more, 400. Oh. An electric car. They just slide by, you don't even know they're there. Nice look around the harbour. 